guys. Hello everyone. Welcome to McKellar Motivational Monday. It's Monday and uh, welcome. I want to know how you guys are all doing. It's a really intense time right now um, and uh, I know it affects different people in different ways. Personally, I am lacking sleep <laughs> because I keep I keep staying up late uh, watching uh, videos, listening to different voices, listening to, um, yeah, listening to what other people have to say about it. Um, a lot of new black voices that I'm discovering, conservatives and liberals, I will say that because for me it's really important to listen to everyone. Um, I, I, you know, committed, well, it's, you know what? Everybody has different ways of dealing with things. And the other one thing I want to talk about, in addition to like listening, it's got to listen to each other, right? It's listen to each other. It's weird. You know, it's funny. I'm on TikTok. I'm not, not on right now on TikTok, but um, there are a lot of really interesting videos on TikTok. A lot of really interesting voices. Well, it's what everyone's talking about, Ben. I think it was your name, Ben. And it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to, to learn. I, I'm a big, I'm a big education advocate. Huge. As you can, I write math books. <laughs> I love it. I just home, homeschool my child voluntarily. So, um, yeah, it's just like, but you know, I want to do some, um, aren't they interesting, Joe? I agree. Right. I agree. Be silent, not to overwhelm yourself with a constant feed of everything going on in the world. And that's what I've been doing. I've been overwhelming myself with a constant feed because I feel like, oh my gosh, I have to catch up. I have to learn what I've been missing and not understanding. And I'm like, well, I'm not racist. But then I read people saying, that's, you know, saying you're not racist is totally missing the point. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally missing the point. <laughs> like, okay, let me learn more. Let me listen to more people. And I think I'm starting to understand, but it's, but I'm really, um, I've always been a big believer in we think we know more than we do. I believe that. Yeah, there's a lot, there's been a lot of anxiety. Oh my gosh, anxiety even before this, even before going, oh my gosh, am I missing the point? Am I, am I, because I, I'm not like a jump on the bandwagon kind of person. I'm sure you guys know if you follow me that I'm not like just somebody who, uh, you know, who, who just, who just blindly follows anything. I think that's the downfall of social media and, and downfall of humanity based because of social media and people just, you know, seeing a headline and then, and then uh, picking up a rock and going to throw it. Anyway, uh, yes. And, and by the way, that was not a reference to this. That was a reference to other things that we've seen. They're making you guilty for being white. Well, nobody can make you feel guilty. Nobody can make you feel anything. Just remember that. But there is a tendency to want to feel guilty for being white because we're, we're, this issue has come up and and it's like, oh, justice and experience suffering and injustice in my life. It's not like this. It's different. It's a different brand of it. So then you feel guilty. Well, I wouldn't say you only feel guilty if you're racist. I don't think that's true. I don't. Anyway, one of the main things I want to talk about, and I do want to do shout outs too, is that, um, is to give each other the benefit of the doubt. Give each other the benefit of the doubt. And everyone's working on this in different ways. And I'm sure some people are choosing not to work on themselves during this time. And that's, we don't know what their situation is. Maybe we're dealing with it emergency, some horrible thing going on in their family. And well, who are we to judge? Like, oh, well, you're not talking enough about this. You're not, you're not posting or whatever. Never feel guilty for being who you are, Keenan. I think that's probably really, that's a wonderful thing. And, and yeah, if you, if you are in earnest and, and you care, then yes, more empathy, less criticism. Why people are, are getting jumped with you know, Hosea? Well, I mean, again, it's it depends on who you're listening to. <laughs> yes, this whole time is a learning experience for everyone worldwide. Isn't this crazy? So we go like we went through a worldwide, and I guess we're still going through it, a worldwide pandemic, and then this worldwide movement. It's a lot. 2020 is like a lot, right? 
Right, silence does not equal consent. Well, it depends on the situation you're in, right? If you're somebody standing by and watching something horrible happen and you don't say anything, and you could have, and you could have prevented it, then silence is violence. But I don't think that silence is always violence. Silence could be um, you're re regrouping, you're listening and educating yourself and regrouping, and then you're ready to present the world or you figured out the way that you can be helpful in particular. I'm usually positive, Carlos. You know, I, it's funny because I actually see this as being positive, um, trying to create a space for us all to recognize what we're going through and, and how not to judge each other and how not to judge ourselves in this process. Yes, and be careful in the info you're getting. Make sure it's, it's true and not made up because not everything you see online is true. Newsflash. <laughs> the other thing is you can take two true, like you can take numbers, like they say statistics lie, right? You can take uh, true data and tell two completely different stories with it. So something else to watch out for. Mr. One Ill Todd, I think that's serious. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm trying to be true to what I believe is the right way to handle this, which is to just learn, try to get educated and not pretend to be doing anything else. I'm not pretending to have all the answers. It's, oh, thanks, Carlos. <laughs> I'm glad I saw your quote. <laughs> Sometimes I'll like start a conversation with somebody on one of these and then I miss their response. So I'm glad I got to see that. There's so much going on. And you know what the other thing about this experience is? I mean, first of all, it's so incredible to see so many people joining together to, to, and I really believe maybe this is just me being naive, but I really believe that most of the people who are voicing and going to the uh, protests and, and the people who are posting things, I really believe that, that people care, that most of the people are in it for the right reasons. Sometimes they might not be educating themselves enough, but I believe that they're in it for the right reasons. And to see that the, a worldwide event, like, I mean, all the peaceful protests that are going on all over the world is incredible. Hollywood had thousands and thousands of people seeing all over the world, in Paris and you name it, some. Right? Yeah. 2020 has been unreal. Never seen anything like it in your lifetime. Politics, health issues, race relations, every, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting uh, election. Anyway, uh, I hope I'm there at, at, at the New Jersey Christmas con. I'm hoping that COVID doesn't, they didn't know if they were even gonna, you know, look, if COVID ma makes it canceled, I'm sure they'll give refunds to everybody. I'm just hoping that uh, that we get to do this Christmas con. There's a Christmas con in New Jersey. Uh, we did it last year in November. This year it's gonna be in December, December. Oh my gosh, my laptop's gonna die? You're kidding me. I have 5% on my laptop? I'm so sorry, Facebook, I might lose you guys. No, I'm not back to work yet. Well, I'm writing books still. I have a book coming out June 30th called The Times Machine. Where is it? This is a, an early, this is actually a pretend book. It's the real what the cover looks like, but I'm seeing you guys. Um, it's multiplication and division for second to fourth graders. It comes out June 30th, and I hope you think it's going to really help. So... Anyway, uh, yeah, so I just encourage you guys to keep looking for voices that, that you don't normally listen to. I've been starting to follow more people, uh, especially on Instagram. That's, I'm kind of on Instagram more than anything else, so I'm following more people. And, uh, oh, Keenan, I'll probably be there Saturday and Sunday, actually, it looks like. They just emailed me about that. Uh, I mean, I'm just listening to, to listen to, listening to new voices. And yes, I need more sleep. I can probably put two words together. <laughs> So, anyway, you guys, I really appreciate you all coming together. My laptop just went from 5% to 6%. That doesn't make any sense, but that's fantastic. It's going to just blink out at one point, though. It'll be completely gone in a second. Look for the light even in the darkest hours. Yes. Love is the answer. Oh, I wish it were that simple. But you know what? Love, I think, is the answer when it comes to 
you're going to interact with people online right now because there are a lot of landmines and if you're earnest and you care and you're a good person just give everyone the benefit of the doubt even if people are saying snarky things to you just say well how can i give them the benefit of the doubt maybe they're having a horrible day maybe and just send them love pray for them send them love and and you'll feel better. It is so easy to like get caught up in the anger and the hate right now that's going on. People saying, oh, it's a war. Well, it depends on your perspective. You know, let's say if you have a, if you have an elephant, I'm not sure if this can make any sense. If you have an elephant and you've got a couple different blind people and they, you ask them to describe what an elephant is, one of them is going to have like the trunk. It just like, I mean, yeah, yeah like the trunk. They're like, oh, well, it's kind of bendy and moves around. Uh, another person might be near the leg and say, oh, this is really sturdy and solid. And uh, So it depends on the part of this phenomenon that you're looking at. Which part are you looking at? Which part are you going to give your attention and your focus? Is it going to be for what you, like, well, let's find out. Do I, act, do I think that we need policy reform? And if so, what do I think that looks like? Or is it listening to your black friends and neighbors and coworkers more and just being like, well, I want to see you know, try to be empathetic. What is it actually like? I, I know I think that I'm not a racist, but what do I actually think it's like to be them? And how can I learn more? Um, educating books. In fact, you guys, so I homeschool my, my son. He's nine years old. If you have any recommendations for books um, for his age to, to learn, I mean, he knows about like the Underground Railroad. That, that actually fascinates him. Um, I would love some recommendations. If you tweet me, that's how I'll, I'll see them most. Or unless if you want to respond to my latest Instagram post, then I might see it. And you guys, yeah, be nice to each other. Please be nice to each other. Let's be nice to each other and give each other the benefit of the doubt every time. Because how easy is it to be snarky and get all self-righteous? What do I think of defund the police? Cliff, honestly, I, I don't see how that works out to anyone's advantage. Maybe I'm missing something, but I don't, I don't, so I, and I'm not the person making this decision. I have not, uh, I, I've, I've, <laughs> don't we need the police? This confuses me. This is something I've not had a chance to do research on. What do we do without police then? It seems like a bad idea, but then why are so many for it? So many people for it. So I need to understand better uh, because I just thought, I mean, I just, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I, th I thought we needed the police. It's like saying, let's just not have any more doctors. But, but, I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, but they're like getting rid of the police in Minneapolis, right? Yeah, they are, I think. But again, maybe I'm misunderstanding, but they, they're going to dismantle the police department. I don't know. This is something that I, right? It seems like that, Joel. And Joe, you're saying we, we it's a myth that we need the police. Well, I'm, I'm so... I don't know. It seems crazy to me, but like I said, maybe I'm missing something. I don't know. Anyway, you guys, uh, we need to be retrained. That certainly seems like reasonable. Yeah, community policing. What does that mean? Are these citizens? I don't want to sound stupid because I haven't researched this. Um, hey, it's my son. Anyway, I finished it. Oh, really? I put a little red dot on it so that it okay. better. Okay, give me like three minutes. I'm going to wrap this up. All right. Okay. Um, so, you guys, that's basically my... Yeah, that's me. Um, <laughs> yeah, my child. I just, uh, I adore him. A bunch of people are saying hi, Draco. Just say hi. Well, you don't have to say hi in person if you don't want to. I mean, you can. Well, like, I want to be there for anyone who's, you know. Aw. So you're on, you're seeing it on Facebook right now, but I can't see. Who was it? Just, um, I know. Oh, there. See, Lisa, Joyce. Yep. Oh, jeez. Bernie. Okay. A lot of people on Periscope and Twitter are saying hi. You know, I don't think I, do I see the comments? You guys on Facebook, I'm so sorry. I do not see your comments. Why not? Um, oh, that's so strange. What's up? Anyway. Yeah, a lot of people are saying hi. Oh my gosh. This little guy. Yeah. <laughs> Laurel and Hardy, yeah. It's there. 
All right, guys. So that's all. I yes. If and if and if, and if you guys have a clear idea of what you think the police needs in terms of reform, then this seems like a that's a good thing to work on and find support and go to your city council and get organized. Um, for me, I feel more like it's really about being empathetic and really understanding what's been going on. So again, uh, if you have any recommendations for books like that I can share with Draco about, because he's not really into reading. He's not really into reading. <laughs> he can, he's a good reader, but he doesn't like to, like he wouldn't sit down and read a novel. Um, that'd be a challenge at this point. And he is too old for picture books. So if you have any ideas for like either an easy novel or a more involved picture book that's useful and helpful, uh, especially asking my, my black followers who say, okay, this book really gets it. I would love to get that recommendation from you. Please on Twitter would be great or wherever I'll look for. Watch a good documentary. As long as there's nothing too like graphic in it or whatever, you know, there's only nine. He does like video games. Yes, Devin. Hell of a confession. Until next time. Oh, I thought that was the name of a book. <laughs> Hell of a confession. I'm afraid I'm going to forget that. If you tweet it to me, that'd be amazing. Or Instagram, just like put a comment on um, my last post. John King on Instagram. I've seen that name. I think I've seen stuff. I, I'll go search, seek him out too. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for, um, for being here with me. Let's keep listening. Let's keep listening and giving each other the benefit of the doubt and being nice to each other online while we all sort through this. There's a lot to digest and a lot to process right now uh, between... COVID and like, but then there are all these people getting together and, and then like, is there a war? No, between the races. There doesn't have to be. You can look at it that way, or you can look at it as an opportunity to get educated. That's what I'm doing. And you can also look at it as an opportunity to, um, to organize and make change. So it's true. It's not just about listening. Uh, Kevin, I think is your name. I, I completely agree. But for me, I don't like getting the headlines and then running with it. I like to really understand. Shout out to Christy Lynn. Oh, I forgot to do shout outs. I'll end with shout outs. How about that? I can't even imagine Kevin Chu. I, I can't. There are things, human beings have been so horrible to each other for so long uh, in so many ways. And what we have to do is focus on how to make things better, obviously. It's just hard. None of it's easy. And I want to learn. I want to understand. I don't look, I was a math major. I'm 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 in it to I'm in for I'm 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 in it for chat the challenge and I'm in it to actually understand and not not just get the headlines and not just send out hashtags and Yeah, and the media, I don't know about the media, you guys. You gotta be careful with the media. Could be, yes, political. I mean, I don't know. And the news, remember, the news wants you to, to think things are worse than they are. Not just in terms of like the riots. They don't show you the good stuff. They only show you the bad stuff, right? They need views. The advertisers need people to watch it. Online, people need clicks. They need things to be sensationalist. How about real change, listening to real voices, really understanding what needs to be done? And then doing that and we're working towards that we're supporting somebody who's doing the thing you think needs to be done right yeah so listen to yourself don't get frustrated number one don't get frustrated by the people who are trying to make this negative don't be frustrated don't let that turn you off to, to understanding and and learning and figuring out how you can be the most useful for a positive change and, uh, yeah, and don't forget about the other things that, like, for me, helping kids is, is everything. And I do a lot to help support uh, foster kids, and that's across all races. And uh, I'm keeping up with that as well. Yes. 
Be kind. It starts with our kids. It starts with our kids, you guys. If kids feel loved, if they feel like they have something and they're worth something, they're way more likely to grow up and, and be better on both sides of it on, at any race. You found a few books from Kirk? Oh, I look forward to it. Oh, you did? Thank you, Joe. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to be in, Amazon's going to love me when we find all these books. <laughs> right. Exactly, Nick. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't have to watch the news all the time, but don't ignore the problems. No, there's plenty of ways of finding out what's going on. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So you guys don't forget about the kids. If you can help, help kids. There's a lot of great charities out there helping kids. Or if We've got a couple things getting in our way for that. I took a week off from the news. I would, I'd be afraid to take a week off the news. <laughs> I want to make sure I know what's going on. Yes. Well, anyway, you guys, I, I keep saying I'm about to go and then I don't, but uh, my little guy is waiting for me now. So, all right. Uh, some shout outs. <laughs> Trust nobody, <laughs> but listen to a lot of people and then you'll kind of start to get a feeling for it. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yes, Car. I know two people who had family members die and they weren't able to be with them because the hospital didn't allow it because of COVID. It's so sad. All right, I'll just do random shout outs. Uh, hi, Ryan, Paul, Sean, Davis. Hey, uh, Chicago Hitman. What? What kind of name is that? <laughs> hey, Joel. Starshine. Nick in Connecticut. I'm so sorry that Facebook, I can't see your guys' comments. I don't know what I did wrong. I did something wrong. I'll go, you know what I'll do on Facebook afterwards? I'll go in and I'll try to respond to a bunch of comments um, after I hang out with my son. Hello, Anne from Toronto. Hey, XYZ, mommy. Hey, Jesus from Mexico. Hey, Wonder Woman. Yeah, COVID probably will increase due to protests, right? What are the chances they won't? Hey, Paulo from Brazil, Joel from New York, Kay Montero from Boston. All right, guys, thanks so much. And um, see you soon. Maybe I'll do another one on Monday, hopefully. And uh, keep listening. Keep giving people the benefit of the doubt. Educate yourself. Figure out. What rings true for you in terms of how to help? What rings true? What's not you being pushed around, but what rings true so you actually can make a good, positive change? Okay. Bye.